Ladies and gentlemen, boys and NBs, today we're here to talk about guns. We're not here to talk about gun builds, we're here to talk about the best guns to use within the DMZ to get the job done. This is an overall look at guns, not for any specific map, these will all work on every map. However, these are your standard builds. I'll go deeply into builds for Building 21, Koshi, Ashika, etc. in later videos. However, today we're just strictly talking about the best guns to use within DMZ right now. Season 4 Reloaded. I wanted to start this video by talking about the Castoff 74U. As the barrel is finally unlocked, the KSTV 17 is available. And with this barrel, this gun is the best sniper support option in the game. This is actually my sniper support build for this gun. It has around 800 bullet velocity, meters per second that is. And it's just, it's a very, very solid build. It has a very long distance before the first damage drop off and then it's good to about 50 to 70 meters, and then it becomes kind of lackluster. But it's a sniper support build, so it's built to go behind a sniper. Moving on, I've got everybody's favorite outside of the Hemlock, which the Hemlock will not be on this list, but we're talking about the TAC-56. This is my regain build. I like taking this as a regain gun, because the 60 round mag just gives me a lot of bullets to put down, I don't have to reload very often. This gun is probably on the lower end of the 10, if I had to talk top 10, where I'd put the 74U towards the top, but this is this is Old Faithful. This is a very, very good gun to take for your regain situations, for doing missions, and that kind of thing. This would probably be my third choice in meta, and that would be the M13. This is a gun I find myself choosing more than anything else, except for one more we'll talk about later. There's one I choose above this, but this here, this is my GG build. I take this everywhere. I'll take it in the Building 21. I'll take it to Almazra. You can use this gun from five meters. Use this gun at 150 meters. You can hit anything with this build. It is amazing. It's around 370 on the aim down sights, at around 950 on bullet velocity. It is amazing. Hip fire is great too. Now I had to include the Razorback as Westy, Stod, Onik, even Stone Mountain himself. Everyone has been raving about this build I put together. And it is, it's fantastic. This build will get you everywhere. This is another regain gun. If you don't have any of the 15 minute guns, take this instead of the others. This thing is amazing. I personally like to use this build inside of Koshi Complex for Building 21. It's good on Almazra, it's good on Vondel, and it's good on Ashika, but the close quarters is where I really like this gun, though you can use it out to about 80 meters. Okay, I know no one expected this gun to be on this list, but this is my favorite gun for Season 4 Reloaded. The M16 is by far the most fun gun to use. In the patch notes that we looked at yesterday, they changed the way burst fire guns work where you don't have to time your clicks or your trigger pulls to make it match up with the gunfire. There's no more jamming. So that's amazing. This gun feels phenomenal. Give it a try. This is my go-to build. You need a little bit more recoil control. Don't be afraid to put the Edge 47 on it. It is around 390 meters per second bullet velocity. It's fantastic. If you need a little bit more recoil control, use the Edge 47 and then I'll bring it to around 415 on the aim, aim down sight. Now let's take a second to talk about Old Faithful and what I would say is the second best gun of the season. Probably everybody else is number one for the season. That being the M4. With the M4, I'm running the commando grip. It's the middle ground between the agent grip and the Edge 47. This build will get you done anywhere you go. You can throw the Echolus 80 on it if you want a little bit more velocity. I don't feel the need for it. I like the snappy aim down sight. This build will win gunfights. You will not lose gunfights unless they are just strictly snorting G fuel, sweating all over the place. This is the gun if you want to beat six mans by yourself. Take the M4. And no, it's not season one, but the Tag V is back, baby. The Tag V is easily in the top five. This is a hard hitter, big mag, a little slow on the ADS, but it's still under 400 milliseconds. We're still over 900 meters per second on bullet velocity. This is just all around, this is the hard hitter. This is the Hemlock of season four. If you liked the Hemlock, run the TAC-V because this is the gun that is replacing it. This thing is phenomenal. Now I do have a couple of LMGs to show you, but I'm gonna start with my favorite of the LMGs first, and that is the Icarus. The Icarus is just an M4 with more rounds. This gun feels amazing. I did put the pineapple on it, so you've got a little bit of the uh, hip fire, as well as a little bit more recoil control. Give this a try, especially if you bought the Alex bundle, because you only have a 15 minute cooldown there. This thing is fucking great. If you're looking for a lot of stopping power, a lot of rounds downrange, 
take the Icarus. Now I felt it would be best to throw my shotgun on here for Koshi Complex and Building 21. I don't run the broadside, I don't run the new gun, I run good old fashioned Remington 870, or as it's known in this game, the Bryson 800. There is nothing I like more been double pumping some chum. Here's the build. You've got all the hip fire you need. You've got the range you need. You're pulling your pellets tight together. It just feels wonderful. I also went ahead and threw in my favorite submachine gun, that being the Bass P or the Six Hour MPX. This build here, I've wiped four mans, five mans, and I got five out of six on a six man last week. This gun just feels amazing. And with the nerf to the ISO 45, I don't see any reason to grab anything else unless you're grabbing the Lockman sub. I know we just spoke on 10 guns, but I figured I'd give you a few more. This here is your standard DMR, and this will beat a lot of snipers on Almazra, on Vondel, and all over the place. I've taken it into Building 21 as is, and I've used it in long haul fights, but that's a high skill move. But if you're looking for something that isn't a bolt action to get sniping done, use this build here. It takes four to five shots on average to kill someone, and you can chamber shots five times faster than the typical bolt action rifle. And I did throw a bolt action rifle on the list with the MCPR, because everyone needs a good sniper. This is the best sniper for DMZ right now. Now, if you do want to change this gun to run explosive rounds and get the one-shot sniper going, I would take the Corio Lays off and put the 22-inch barrel on it. And then I did want to throw a couple of bonus LMGs on the list with the Rap H. It's the same build that the Icarus has. It just, it feels really good. These LMGs are kind of, just feel them out, feel which one's best for you. I like the Icarus, however, there is this option too. And I know everyone's been raving about the HCR, so I included it. This is the best build for the HCR in Season 4. This gun is really good. It is. It's a very, very good gun, though it feels more like an assault rifle than an LMG. I don't see a point in running it, but a lot of people are hyping it up, so I figured I'd put it on the list. Again, optics are completely up to you. There's 20 of them to choose from choose the one that best fits your play style that goes for every gun on this list they're interchangeable and i'm going to conclude it there i gave you 14 instead of 10 please like and subscribe i'll be going into specific map builds breaking down things further gg boys